Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. I'm ready for a warpath. Let's do this. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are, guys, back at it again with another action figure review. Okay, so we got Warpath, man. Um, you know, I actually did not find this guy in the store. I actually forgot I pre-ordered this guy. You ever order something, pre-order something offline, well, online, offline, online, and then you forget all about it, and then it shows up at your doorstep, and you're like, holy crap. I forgot I ordered this. I ordered this probably like two months ago, man. Maybe three months ago. And good thing, because I can't find it in the store. And yeah, I ordered it off of Amazon. Enough yapping. Let's get to the reviewing. I can't wait to do a review of this figure. Okay, guys. So I, if you guys have been watching my reviews, I only have two other figures to review from this wave, which is Black Tom and Sh Shikla. Shikla. And then I complete my strong guy, build the figure. Um, I'm pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited. And of course, we'll break out strong guy. There is uh, the cover arts. There is that right there. If you want a little read up on Warpath, I'm sure you guys don't care. Um, there's the X-Men logos right there. He comes with the short little stubby leg. Of strong guy, and we're gonna get my strong guy figure over here. Pop on his leg. Look at how awesome this guy is looking already, man. Twist it on there. Twisty twist. Twist the twist. Twist the twist. Twist. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Man, he looks good, dude. I'm pretty sure I have the, all the the right legs on the right on the right hip bones. And he's looking big. Look at his chest, dude. Look at his arms. So I'm just missing one arm and one back piece, and that uh, should be the final product of Strong Guy, man. Let's take out the figure, the only figure that I really wanted from this wave. Warpath. I love Warpath, man. And he is a big chunky chunky fella it looks like the omega red body they used on this guy dope <laughs> dope man i really really oh i didn't even notice feather right here he's got feather and his hair awesome dude love this war path glad that they gave him a tan that's a plus dope dope man dope really love this war path this was the figure that I really, really wanted, man, and I'm not disappointed at all, dude. He is one big, chunky fella. Love it, dude. He comes with two interchangeable hands. I'm probably just going to use the one, because if you guys know me, then you know my... Oh, no! It came off! If you guys know me, then you know my reviews, and you know I like the one open hand and one closed fist look. So, pop on... Warpath shoulder piece right here, and they just peg in like so. Man, this guy looks really, really good, man. Hasbro did a really, really nice job with this figure. Not really big in the pins, but it is what it is. Really not 90 degree bend because it's kind of hindered by the size of his freaking calf muscle. <laughs> it's got a big calf muscle. Ankle pivots, brake boot right there, brakes at the boots. You guys know all the articulation. 90 degree bend. I wish I wish he came with a weapon. Didn't doesn't Warpath Um I don't mean to be stereotypical here, but doesn't he didn't he come with an axe? Like a, a hammer? 
not an axe, but what do you call that? Um, shit, it's not coming to me. Waist swivel, dope. Break, break. His shoulder pad keeps popping off. He does have butterfly joints here as well. Man, this is a really, really nice figure, man. I'm not going to lie. Wrist swivel, breaks. You guys know all the great articulation. Marvel Legends comes up with best in the business. There's one thing I can say about Marvel Legends is they never really disappoint on articulation, man. They give us the... High, most highly articulated figures they could possibly give us. And he's a little off balance. Okay, maybe if I moved the stomach crunch a little bit forward, boom. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and measure this guy, and then we'll do some comparisons. So, Warpath stands at approximately... Seven and one eighth tall. That's just a little bit over seven inches tall. To compare them with some other figures that I recently reviewed, we have the Wolverine, movie version Wolverine. Really like this Wolverine. Is he the best? No. But he's a good Wolverine. Um, another figure that I recently reviewed, Kingpin. Kingpin, of course, I do believe he stands about seven and a half inches or maybe eight inches seven and three-fourths tall so a little bit over seven and a half inches there's kingpin the last figure that i reviewed of apocalypse marvel legends man they they just produce some really really great figures Age of Apocalypse with Warpath here. Dope. Dope, man. You want to see him with Spider-Man? Of course you do. Spider-Man. Okay, guys. I'm going to get I'm gonna get right straight to the point. I really like this Warpath, dude. Splits. Knee bend. Breaks at the upper thighs right here. Waist swivel. Very nicely done figure, man. It's awesome to have a Warpath in my collection. Very, very dope. I'm very, very happy. Very satisfied with this figure. Kicking out that far. Can kick back that far. Dope, man. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give this figure... I really like him, man. Um, I'm going to give this figure a solid 8. Surprising, huh? Not really surprising because I think he's the best figure in this wave, um, with the exception of maybe Strong Guy, but we'll have to wait and see until we finish him. Very, very dope, man. The deta details, very, very nice, man. Simplistic, that's Marvel Legends, that's what I expect. The paint apps are done very, very nicely, very, not so much bleeding, you know. Not clean, but pretty damn close to clean. You know, not McFarlane clean, but for Marvel Legends, it's not bad at all, man. I really like this Warpath, guys. Uh, Tomahawk. That's what I was thinking of. Not an axe. Tomahawk. There is Warpath, man. Love him. I wish he did have a weapon. Let me see of all the weapons I got here. Mm, I don't have any weapons that can really go with Warpath, other than a machete. I can give him a machete right here that go with, that went with the Punisher. <laughs> doesn't look, he doesn't look right with the machete, but it, you can make it work. I don't have a Tomahawk. I wish I had a Tomahawk I can give this guy. Because I feel like he needs a weapon. I don't know if he uses a weapon in, uh, in the comic books, but he it looks like he needs a weapon, right? Yeah, man, it's definitely a solid 8, man. I think this is the, probably the best figure from this wave. I really, really like this Warpath. I recommend it, guys, if you are Marvel Legends collectors. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this guy. He's really, really awesome, man. We'll go ahead and leave it th at that. <laughs> he can't stand up straight. There we go. You got to hunch him over. There was my little review of Warpath, guys. Let me know what you make of this figure. Do you like him? Do you own him? Do you plan on picking him up? What do you think about this wave? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out!